You just tuned in to the Heel in the Face live wrestling show every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. And you can also catch us on Twitter at Heel and Face. And also shut you up! Can call- just shut up! Are you kidding? Nobody came to hear you and you curb your dog while you're at it. Oh, and I can't make me a sandwich, Mrs. Abernathy. Are you okay, really? Do you need anything to drink? Tough Jim Steele, come here and get let out of me and take us out to the show. I guess here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Heal the Face Radio Show. Now... And welcome to All this right. week's edition of the Heel yep. in the Face Live Wrestling Show. Oh, it's going to be a great one, let me tell you. It is, because epi- this, this episode is called, and now, hashtag wrestling with poultry. For real? For Are real. Are you kidding? Would I lie? Uh, I don't know, man. You're funny. I am. That's all right. Well, uh, well, you, you, uh, all, everybody out there is probably wondering what the hell with poultry. Even some of the people in studio are wondering. Yeah, people in the green room are looking perplexed and laughing. Okay. So what you're not gonna hell? you're not gonna tell the story. Well, last night I spent the night in the hospital, almost died, man, from choking on chicken. And for you knuckleheads that turn around and think sexually, that's okay. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. All right? And you're the biggest knucklehead. More like you're a sausage king. Why am I a knucklehead? Because you turn around. You're the one that talks to editing and stuff and marketing, so you probably told them to do that uh, with poultry garbage. Oh, they were ecstatic. I bet they were. They were. That's all right. No worry. They couldn't wait. Don't worry. It's all right. No problem, man. No problem. I'm here. I'm alive. And thank goodness for that. Yeah. Because without you, like three people who pay for your autograph on eBay every week. I know, man. I appreciate that. The three cents. There's another sale for you. It only sounded like one penny hit the floor, though. Yeah, maybe. No, it was a quarter. They're getting change back. 22 cents. <laughs> so you survived chicken, and you survived the other guys, too. Anyway. He survived. Yes, I did, man. I always survive. Can't let... Hey, you can't take it. Take me out. Are you kidding me? GYD tried to. They didn't do it. Really? No, they didn't. Really? Because they, they had you kendo pretty good. No, man. Trust me. That's all good. Don't worry about it. What comes around goes around. I don't know. I, I know. You were flopping on the floor like a I fish. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. It's okay. We had other people here, and it just seems very funny that you're the only one that was on the floor flopping like a fish. You were on the floor, and too. And then, standing over here... I was tied up. To this mic stand. Chains and, t- chains and tape. What? What chains? There was a chain around your neck. Uh, no, I had around. chains. I, I, I was tied up. And there was 150,000 feet going around your waist. Come on. It's not 150,000 feet. Well, whatever a football field is. No, a cotton field is. I mean, I'm sorry. Two of them, right? The wow. shirt. Just two. Are you one of those people when I lay on the beach with my shirt off that chuck harpoons at me? Uh, no, not today. <laughs> That's the kids. I, I leave that to the kids because then they have something to do on the beach. That's messed up. <laughs> well, SWA, August 17th, man, Wrestle Games. War Games is like just, it's, it's crazy, man. Tickets are going out the door like you wouldn't even believe. I know you have more tickets on you. We have tickets. But yes. I think we have an idea, man. I we were talking about it before, and then we came up with this kind of. Oh, how the could contest. we? Yeah, right. a very oddball contest. But I guarantee some of Long Island's finest radio stations have done this. I'm sure they have. Yeah, and plenty of others. And this one I like. Basically, we're going to be in two different places, each with two ch- tickets and a chance. For you to announce, for you to color commentate the after hours taping 
before war games. Yeah, I I think it's gonna be awesome. I'll tell you the truth, man. <clears throat> but we have another one too. And we're gonna, that and adds we're gonna on be, to this. And we're gonna be tweeting out clues to where we are. Yep. And and your job to win the tickets and help color commentate is to find us. And you get tickets, which is cool, man. Yeah, you get two That's tickets cool. each. Two tickets for finding me, two tickets for finding Tommy, courtesy of us. You get to call it commentate during the show. I can't. I can't wait for that. That that's pretty cool, but we've got to do one thing. What do we got to do? We got to give them some kind of like area perimeter of where you'll be that's and where what, I'll be. That's what the tweets are for. Oh, so ladies and gentlemen, you got to get those tweets. You know, and At listen and yep, heal and face. So you got to pay attention tonight and next week. Because if you don't, I guess hear a what? lot of commotion in the green I do room. too, man. I don't know, man. There's some funny stuff going on. There's some business around. But all I got to say is if you don't tune in to the heel in the face this week and next week, you know, you're going to miss out on some cool stuff going on. And don't forget, in August is our one year anniversary of being on air. That's right. We've got autographs, T-shirts. I mean, baseball bats autographed by stars and plenty of other stuff. Where did you get clearance for that? I got a closet. (laughs) And you have yet to come out of it, I (laughs) see. Yes, I have. (laughs) I came out. All right. Hell, man. We need a break. Hold on. Why don't you yeah, take us out when we're going to our ducks because in a row? maybe Sean will come I out I want to see closet. what's going on in the green room.
<clears throat> and, and we're, we're back. back. Ladies and Welcome gentlemen. Welcome to the Heel in the Face Live Wrestling yeah. Show, where you can catch us on Stitcher and iTunes, which we somehow shamelessly forget to plug. I know, man. We're so busy worrying about indie wrestling itself. That's why. That's what it I is, know. man. I, we are. And it must but be tough, what, choke, and it must be tough to coughing on chicken. But later with, later with that. But you know what? That's what we're here for. Is uh, for indie wrestling. Matter of fact, talking about indie wrestling, one of the hottest companies hitting Long Island and going across Long Island. SWA chairman Jerry Werner. Whoa. What's going on, brother? Hey guys, how you doing? Oh. What's going up? What's going up? What's going up? What's going, what's going up? up? I is that what the what, kids say? That's what's going down, man. Is but that what the kids are saying now? That, yeah, instead of down, like when we were younger, it's up now. When I was a kid, it was like, what's good? But all right, oh, Tommy yeah. had chicken coming up, so that was okay. We'll get to that later. No Cobb Goblin today. No, man. Oh, we have a lot of stuff for you guys on the menu today. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll do like half the stuff now and half the stuff later. Okay. Yeah, yeah man. However you want to do it. Run with it man. how you want. Go for it. Bro. All right. So I'm, I'm ready. What we'll do later is we'll update you on Lexa Rose. Uh, we'll update mm-hmm. you on the Graveyard Disciples. And uh, me and Tommy C are going to address the Chris Caden situation a little bit later as it's well. It's about damn All time. Right. Hey. Yeah. yeah. But for now. I do have a uh, couple quick updates for you guys, and tonight I want to give away some tickets too. So we got to come up with an SWA trivia question. Those oh. tickets are on me, not on you guys. Okay. Oh. All right. So we're gonna give that. Uh, we're gonna give the question about 15, 20 minutes. So if you're not listening, start listening. Tell your friends so they're listening. You know. All right. So here we go. Here's for the updates. I promised you guys what? Two matches tonight. Two matches. All right. Well, I kind of spoiled one of the matches. I think you guys probably noticed from this. Uh, Snazzy little flyer we got sitting in front no, of us. Oh man, before I'm sorry. Before you go any further, this is one of the hottest flyers right now I've seen. Yes, uh, in I, indie wrestling. I like school. this flyer because we don't have every wrestler who's ever worked for us no, on this flyer. You know what? <laughs> it's it's actually good. It's it's. I like it. I like it, man. There's nobody in masks. Everyone's face is clearly I know. represented. Thank God for that one. <laughs> oh man, we got people dancing in the background. <laughs> Thanks. To, l- luckily, our seven foot security guard can hold them back. You know. Um, but yeah, we kind of <laughs> gave away a match. This is a match that you know me and Tommy sat down and talked about, and we felt it was it, it was a good rematch to do. So inside a steel cage, this is steel cage match number three. We're gonna do the protector of professional wrestling, Jack Gallo, taking on Braden Knight in a rematch from Wrestle Hell. So Jack Gallo is going to be at War Games. Yeah, he's going to be at War Games. He's uh, no nagging injuries, best shape of his life, with something to prove because he's got a bit of a losing streak going right now. It's a weird thing to say about Jack Gallo, you know? It is. Yeah. And everybody yeah, knows who Braden Knight is by now. Come on, you know, if you don't. Kid's tearing it up for us. So. If you don't know either one of those, you must be, like, in a dark room somewhere. No TV, nothing. Living Isn't in a cave. Isn't he on a winning streak in SWA? Yes, Braden's picking, uh, yeah. picking up steam, and you know it really started with his win over Gallo, and uh, that's bugging Gallo. So we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see if, uh, and if you know what, that's the thing. If Braden Knight can beat Gallo again, uh, I think that's the end of Gallo in the top five, and I think Braden Knight really makes a stake for a number one contendership. Uh, but that's something again, wow. and Tommy will yeah. have to sit down Big and time. talk about. And the second match, okay, is a match that uh, a lot of people have been asking about. And it's not Octane and Tough Jim. Um, <laughs> oh, come on, man. No, a lot of people oh. did, did vote. No, that I, 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 oh. I was, we, we, we were overwhelmed with the positive and negative responses to the idea of Tough Jim and Octane in a cage. A lot of people uh, would rather see Octane in an electric chair, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, we can't do that wow, match. Man. So why not? <laughs> We'll, we'll talk to Octane in a second. We'll, we'll just put a car battery on it. I'm sure if we, you know, I'm mean, <laughs> <laughs> sure if we, uh, yeah, water torture too. Um, no, we'll talk to Octane a little bit later. But the other match people have been asking me about, and this this is the whole uh, man with a top hat situation, is MC3 and Riley Daniels. What are they doing? And the answer is very simple. They're going to have a rematch with the Middle Country Punks at War Games. Uh, the celebrity or MC3 and Riley Daniels. Taking on the punks. What do you guys mm. think of that? It, a rematch. It, yeah, it's a rematch. Yeah. Is there? Um, there's nothing special. It's just a plain old. It's match? a plain old rematch. Uh, nobody's seen it yet. Obviously, after I was taping is not. But uh, you know, if you read the results to the after I was taping, uh, you know, Riley and MC3 were trying to have a match. The Middle Country Punks wouldn't have anything. Wouldn't let that happen. They came out. They interrupted the match. We had a tag team match, and you know, uh, it didn't go well for Riley Daniels and MC3. 
and uh, they're going to get a chance for a little bit of redemption at War Games and some tag team action. Okay, now I have to ask the tough question. Yeah. What's with the man in the top hat? I wish I yeah, knew. Yeah, man. I, that, I don't <laughs> know. What's going on with that Is stuff? Is he going to be at War Games? We get a lot of questions about the man in the top hat, and I don't have many answers. Uh, he just kind of showed up. You know, uh, he's not an SWA wrestler. I'm not really sure what exactly is going on. Um, I don't know. I don't know if he'll be there. So he's he, not he, under contract no, with SWA? No, he's not a part of the SWA. And you don't know him, you don't know him at all? No, it's, I mean, literally the cameras were following MC3 and Riley Daniels to pick up their reactions to what had happened. And this guy just, he just found his way on camera. And it was so weird and it was so compelling that we had to include it. We had to put it up and let, let it just go. Let's see what happens with this. But uh, no, he's not an SWA contracted wrestler. Uh, I don't particularly know his name or who he is, but no, we'll find I out. I have no clue. Hopefully we will find out soon. He's possibly Batman. <laughs> As our, uh, Batman. As our esteemed guests have uh, chimed in. Batman with a top hat. That's different, man. We'll find out, though. Yep, the uh, green room is buzzing right now. Yeah, we we got a busy room here. I think it's because I brought Popeyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're not Yummy. sponsoring us. Wait, you brought chicken? No. Yeah. Keep it away from Tommy C. And, and Cobb salads. <laughs> and Cobb salad. That's like, that's like force-feeding <laughs> Superman wow, kryptonite. Man. <laughs> All right. See... <laughs> Uh, for you, you people that didn't uh, tune in earlier, and for Jerry Warner, fortunately, I was at the hospital last night, taken by ambulance. You know, choking on chicken. Yes, take it as a joke. Make it as you can. Were you really? Yes, I was. Almost friggin' died, man. But yeah, you know what? Thankfully, to my wife giving me Heimlich maneuver, you know, whatnot, Damn. and helping me. And, thank uh, God you, yeah. thank God you swallowed it. Well, well I'm thank glad God you're alive. Here. Yeah. I mean, I know, uh, I know, Chris Caden would probably be happy if it wasn't the case, but yeah, you know what? You're still kicking, Tommy. You can't let a good man down, and uh, I'm not going down at all, no all, matter what. All dogs even though GYD, yeah, even though GYD, you know, did their thing the other day. Yes, that's, that's we, all right. We're gonna have to get to later on. That's a big subject. I still had nothing to do with that. Yeah, go ahead, Jerry. I'm sorry, my friend. I think uh, at this point, who? Who had something to do with the GYD thing is not the problem. It's the fact that the GYD did what they did, the Graveyard Disciples. And that's what we're going to discuss later. Um, now, as far as match announcements goes, we're rolling on this one. Uh, and we're going to have two more next week, and that's it. Those are going to be the two more match announcements. Everything else, you're going to have to wait till the day of the show. And then all announced matches that are not in a cage will go up on the SWA website in a poll. And we're going to let the fans decide who's that fourth cage match. Do we get a vote? You guys can vote. I want to vote. Everyone can vote. I can't wait to I, vote. I might even vote myself. But, <laughs> you know, we're going to find out. We're going to let the fans decide who's that fourth cage match because we have three great ones lined up um, with the House of Violence, the Pride title, and, of course, Braden and Gallo. So, yeah, we're going to figure it out. picketing in the green room. Yeah. That was the manliest throw of a paper <laughs> yeah. ball uh -huh. I've ever seen. But that's it for now as far as War Games goes. I think about 15-ish uh, minutes we'll do the uh, SWA trivia question. Ooh, That'll be good. That sounds awesome, man. And then we'll roll with some more SWA news later on. Yeah, definitely, man. Oh, I, I hear you, man. Because SWA is exploding. Don't forget, August 17th. You people got to get your tickets. We have tickets, and tickets are going to be going up. Uh, tickets will be on sale uh, tomorrow morning. Uh oh. Online ticketing uh -oh. will be open tomorrow morning. So be ready. Get we on have that. tickets yeah. right now. We have them right now. And we now. have tickets right now. I got them somewhere. Otherwise, and I, I would thump them on the mic, but I'm away from you right I, now. I, and we'll be giving two away in just a couple minutes. So, so ladies and gentlemen, get ready for it. Always an adventure. Sit back, relax, face. grab a cold one, and we'll oh, be right back. I after guess, a quick right? break, we're going to talk to two of the participants some more games. And, and they're going to be Tough Jim Steel and Octane. Oh, yeah. We'll see you in a bit. Hold on to take us out.
I'm here, long on the ride. And I see the angels fly above. And I see that you have had enough. And you walk forever, may I roll? And no, you'll never.
Yes, we are back. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Check them out live when you can. Well, right now we got none other than uh, uh, tough Jim Steele and Octane. Are they both gonna come on at once? Yeah, because I don't think that would be smart to have the both of them in the room together. Yeah, I hear you, man. I know, right? <laughs> oh, it definitely would not be a smart Are you move kidding, to have, man? Uh, Come Octane on. and I on the same time. What's going on, Jim? What's going on? What's going on? Jim, man. August the 17th. Wow. August the 17th, War Games. I want Octane. One on one. No hassles. No rumbles. No nothing. It's me and Octane. August the 17th, that's what's going on. Come get, come wow. bring a bucket of water because this man's on fire. He is, man, definitely. Yo, man, you, you better calm down. You're going to have a heart attack, man. Heart attack? No, yeah. I'm going to have no heart attack. Believe <clears throat> me, I'm in the best shape of my life right now. I'm ready for Octane. I want to take his head. I want to throw it into every side of the steel cage if I have to. I want a cage match. I don't care what I have to do to get it. Wow, Whoa. man. Everybody, yo, man. If you're uh, listening, you know, yeah, the computer in front of you, go and vote for this match, man, to be in the cage. Octane versus 
It's off Jim Steele. I, That's didn't crazy. Didn't you want to just say that voting opens next week? Yeah, but freaking just this start week, voting, next man. Week, just whenever. Tell on Jerry Facebook. that you want it. <laughs> on Facebook. Make your voice heard. That's Thank it, you, man. Jerry. Make your See? voice heard. Tough Jim Steele versus Octane Steel Cage match. We really need the video in Mike the Green Room. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> do, man. That that's wow. Insane. <laughs> but uh you know what? I think we've got enough approval. Hey, where, where did he where did he go? Jerry go. <laughs> Jerry's disappearing. But you know what? As the DOA director of authority Tough Jim Steele has got a video that's going to be sent directly to Octane. And Octane, man, we checked it out on the heel in the face privately the other day. And let me tell you something, brother. He wants you, like, <laughs> white on rice. The guy can cut all the promos he wants. Let's just go with the facts. Every time me and this man stepped into a ring, he's been the one that's been laid out. Twice. He got hurt so bad, he screwed up refereeing a match. That's how bad I hurt the man. Well, he, he's... He, if he wants to step I don't in, know. You know. I was watching some video of this man. Granted, it was black and white from his days of his wrestling days, you know. You know that's how old the guy is. There was no bl- uh, color back then. Oh, you know. man. I mean, wow. he had some skills, but that was, you know, 40 years ago. You know, 50 years ago. I mean, the guy's old. He's over the hill, past his prime. All right? <laughs> he wants to step into the ring with the octane. Go right ahead. I'm just going to leave him laying there in a puddle of his own blood again. That's all I'm going to do. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what else, man. That, that you know, uh, he just cut a dry promo, but that's all right. But Wow. Yeah, wow. I think Jim Steele's... When we looked at that video, Sean, be real, man. That video was... That was on fire. He... he our, our advanced copy was pretty good. Yeah, I think... Man, when you get it, I don't know. Oh, I'm dying to see this. Oh, you're going to see it because Jim's going to actually send it to you later tonight. I'm just and hoping it's a color because we're I'm just going, to watch it in black and white. We're going to turn around, release it on the Heel in the Face page on Facebook, and... Jim is going to plaster it everywhere he can because you know what? See, I, I think it was awesome. I wish that bitch Jim Steele would just get into my face and we'll just settle it right now, but I know he's <clears> just afraid <throat> to. Well, <clears throat> due to circumstances, anything outside of the ring, outside of the arena. Look, I don't want anything happening because I want to make sure this is going to go down in front It's of automatic me. suspension. Because I know this so place know. is going to be packed to the max. I know we got to be turning people away <laughs> at the door. I want everybody to witness the total beating. Of tough Jim Steele. Uh, I'm sorry, the bitch Jim Steele. Because, like I said, when I'm done with him, he won't be wrestling again. He won't be working again. They got to carry him out on a stretcher. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this mic, and I'm going to go into the green room where I know tough Jim Steele is sitting. And we'll yeah, separate these guys by a wall. It'll work, man. And, and uh, let, let's, uh, let, let's see what, what goes down. Hey, might as well, man. Well, Jim, now, you, Jim, you listening? You listening? In? Well, he, you know, we got Jim in the room. You know, Octane's in another. Room. This is crazy. Go ahead, Jim. What do you got to say to this stuff, you know what, man? I, I've been listening in the back. I've been listening. What, you, you know, got what, hear, I saw hearing it on. Okay, I'm not going to reveal what's on that video, but let me tell you, when you see it, you will understand. You better have your clothes on. Okay, that's all I'm saying. No, I'm not like you, Octane. Octane, October, August the 17th. Wow. August the, the 17th. The old age. You and I. You and I. Wow. What is one that, on like one, a song or something? This will be in a cage, and I will end you. I hope it's in a cage. I'm begging for the cage. Because, like I said, I'm going to run you from you one side pray of the cage it isn't, to though. the other side of the cage. I'm going to take your face, run it across the steel. You're going to be down, bleeding, in pain, screaming, in pain. They're going to have to carry you out. 
So over oh, well, you do all, not all know right. what you're heading for, Octane. I, I got a question I want to ask. You're heading for. All right, I want to ask each of you as a question, and, and it's a very interesting one. Even though we don't have people calling in right now, or texting, or Facebook and Twittering, Jim, let me ask you something, man. For you to win, okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to walk out that door? Do you want to do a pin? Do you want to climb over the top? What, what do you want? The way I want to win, I want to leave him in the middle of the ring, laid out, and I will just calmly tell the referee to open the door. I want it old school style. Two men okay. into one walks out. All right. Octane, the same question to you. If you have the opportunity to be the winner, what would you want? The pin, the door, or over the top? I want the pin. Because anybody can run out of the Oh, man, door. I should shut his mic off right now. Why? Anybody can that run is out, boring. Anybody can run out of a cage door. Come but on, you know man. What? Face. You know what? Forget the door. I want the door locked. Face. You don't think well, he's climbing over the cage, do you? You never know. He might you know bounce what? if he hits That's the bottom. Actually, no. You don't know think that. he's getting that over baloney the roll the over the, the top of the cage. Over the top. <laughs> hey. If you guys don't think I can do it, I want over the top of the cage. The then that's it, you know man. There Lock you the go. Door. Lock the door. Only one way out. Over the top. You, you know what? what? That? Can you take that? You know what? I think that's even better. That's definitely the right way to settle this. If I'm going to be leaving you in blood, and I'm going to be climbing over the top of that cage, I might not climb down the side or I might fall, but I'll just admit to it at least. But I will get down to that floor. My feet will hit the floor first. And the music's going to find I, out I, who the better man in is. And that is definitely the way well, to do it. Well, well, I like that. Well, whoever the better man is should be the man that well, climbs well, out of that cage with times, a lock. We already know who the better man is. Octane. Well, my thing is, is your feet or your belly going to hit the floor first? Wow. And let's, let's take a vote on that one. Sean, what do you think, Whoa, man? Can we, get the, can we put that on a poll? <laughs> I think, to, to, to quote a famous wrestling term, I think his ample posterior hits the ground first. No, actually, <laughs> actually I'm, pu I'm pushing for my head. I think I'm going to fall straight down head first. You know what? I wouldn't mind losing then as long as oh, I'm putting your head no. through that floor. Whoa. Wow, wow. man. This, uh, Just make sure you set your alarm clock so you're actually up for that time. I know it's going to be past your bedtime by the time the match starts. I've been at every show so far. I won't miss this one. Hey, you kind of missed that uh, feet on a rope doing uh, this, one match. Uh, this man ref the Necro Butcher. This man ref fourteen matches yep. in blazing he's electric the, death heat. Remember? He's the referee of the year in my eyes because you know what? There is no referee out there that's going to do fourteen matches straight in the heat. Okay. No way. Well, and all he had was a sip oh, of Gatorade. He's the referee of the year. Let's see if he can be a wrestler now. Well, you know what? I think he's got it under his hat that he can because he proved it that he could be a ref of the year to me, to Sean. You know what? I think he could See, I don't think be that, number one in doing, the match. He shouldn't be refereeing. If doing yet. that, in doing that, the refereeing 14 matches in that heat, if that doesn't prove that I am as tough as I say I am, nothing will. Well, you can't be that tough if you screw up the Necro Butcher match, costing him the match there because he couldn't see his feet on the ropes. What are you talking about? His feet weren't on the ropes. He's talking about Snowball, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. wow. Well, well, you know what? We're we're past Snowball. We were at Wrestle Hell the but last he did one. Screw, he did screw that up. He did screw that one up big time. <sighs> yeah, well, you know why? Junior Race would not be no longer in SWA if he didn't screw that one up. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody oh, does. I can't help it. He got thrown on top Everybody of makes mistakes. Come on. Even when you're at the deli counter doing stealing orders, stealing. I bet you when they say they want ham, you give them bologna by mistake or something. Right. Or if they want a pound, you give them a half. Come on. True. Okay. I'll, I'll All right. I, I know it's kind of hard for you. I know that I've heard Mrs. Abernathy complain that she wants a quarter of a pound and well, you give her like you know point four six. I want to hear what the fans actually That's say. That's it. I want to hear what the fans say, what they want, either over the top, through the door. No, 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 no. I, that just was, know, I just really want to know what the fans will actually that, do. That was my personal question to you two guys. You know, don't don't bite but my you are ass right. off the real on man that should one. Climb over the top of that cage. A real man does. And to I go through the know. cage, honestly, it's okay. But a man over the top. To walk through a door. Anybody can walk through a door. I got five bucks says you can't get the baloney roll over the steel cage. I bet he can't get it over the top rope. 
Yo, Fat Man, if I can't beat this guy, if I can't beat this guy at the next radio show after that, I will kiss your friggin' ass. Uh, well, I will beat Tough Jim Steele. That's a guarantee. I can assure you, you just this. wait. Wait a minute, Sean. I he wait, just no, said no. I he'll can assure kiss you your this, ass. That at no point, at any time whatsoever, will your lips touch any part of my anatomy. But he we said he'll be kiss the last it. two people on Earth, and rest assured, the human race will die out. <laughs> Listen, though. He could kiss your ass. We'll get a mold of it, you know, a thing of it, and he could kiss your right, ass. Forget, forget kissing ass. I'll buy you dinner <laughs> if I can't beat him. It, that's even better, man. How many times have we heard that before? I know, right? And we and, haven't had the match yet. And have has ever it ever? Has it ever happened? The last time um, it was supposed to no. happen, he was injured. He couldn't. He was wrestle. supposed to bring a cold cut platter. I saw. I know. Him in here, empty handed, into the. I know, right? Room. Where the frick I, is a cold cut platter, man? I'm looking at nothing. No food. I'm hungry. People were eating outside. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Where's the empty tray? It's in the garbage. The dumpster's in the back of the building, man. I think he's a liar. He ain't going to get over the top rope. He is not even going to get over the cage at all. Done. Ba ba boom. As long as, this, as long as that bitch agrees to it, it will be over the top. Of the cage only. Oh, I definitely agree to that. First Jim, he might it, not even make it over the top made a rope. Cage match. He will not make it over the top rope, plain and simple. Well, according because to the big promo, he cut it. Once the fans see the thing, they're definitely going to want to see this match. Well, they still have to vote. Oh. Fans will vote. And let me tell you something. As many people as we said, yeah, said yes, 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 there are many people who have said, are you no. kidding me? <laughs> For real? <laughs> they did? I wow. I can't wrestle. I saw a couple. <clears throat> I think yeah. that was you really riding that. Well, Vinny the Guido. Uh, who is that? What? <laughs> Vinny who? Smurf. Smurf. Don't worry, I addressed that issue. I think, <laughs> honestly, hmm, I think that Jim's going to win this one, uh, hands I down. I, I don't know, man. You, you, No promo, nobody pushing you. Where is it? Promo. Just when I step into that ring, I take care of business. Look what I did to him the last two times I was in the ring with him. Tell me I, I did don't not know, man. You did, you, you did your job. You got it done. I don't know, man. Well, we'll find out. August 17th. One way All or right. another, me and this man will settle it. All right, man. Well, we'll see what happens. And uh, So this feud's been building for <clears> over <throat> a year now. And it will have to come to an end, finally. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see this event, it's going to be one hell of an event. SWA War Games, August 17th. Don't forget, the main event. The great Bambino, C.J. Antonino, the Pride SWA champion, takes on none other than ECW, hardcore legend, the chair-swinging freak, none other than Balls Mahoney. I think that is going to be a hell of a match, Sean. Uh, honestly, in my eyes, I I, I, I don't even, I can't wait. I don't but even want to put my hand, my finger on, like, point the I can't wait. you or you. I it. can't wait, but you know something? Bambino's up, walking out with the championship. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, I think so. Not a chance in hell of that happening. Bulls will be throwing up on the side of the cage. Bambino's yeah, he always leave. does. Bambino's leaving with the title. Ball's going to hit him so hard with that chair. Bambino won't even know what day it is anymore. I don't know, man. I, I think CJ Antonino is going to be still the champion. But it's going to be one hell of a battle. He ain't hardcore. He, he's walking out with the champion. He's not hardcore. And, when, and when he stands at the, on the steps, uh, I'm just gonna, out of the cage, holding the championship, Sean, I'm, I'm going to look up and I'm going to scream, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Stop thinking about food. I'm going to do SWA most embarrassing moments right now. Octane, you're saying that CJ Antonino, the pride champion of SWA, is not going to walk out with the belt. Because he is not hardcore. Why would you say that? The man that never practiced on a canvas. Explain. Because Balls been through every type of match imaginable. Balls have taken shots that most people could never in their life ever take it. (laughs) Balls is going to go in there and just destroy the Bambino or whatever the hell he is. The champ. 
The chump. Listen, the Whatever great the Bambino, is. CJ Antonino, He's a chump. the SWA a Pride chump. champion, man. That's like it. Said, when Balls wins this match, I'm gonna run down it and I'm gonna raise Balls his hand. I, I think um, he's, he's not going to be able. To I run think. Down. Wait a minute. I think the ref for that match possibly will be Tough Jim Steele. So How I don't is he think he's going to be able to ref after he just gets his ass whooped. I'll definitely be able to referee. I don't think you're going to be able to make it into the ring because it's going to be in a steel cage. It will happen. And as far as embarrassing moments, you already got wow. the biggest embarrassment right here. Octane's in SWA. Whoa! Ouch. Holy cow. Ladies wow. and gentlemen, Tough this Jim is getting Steel. high. Tough Jim Steele came to play today. He, he got Yo, out of bed listen. He, he, he's he got his A game coming on. Jim, I, I'm not kidding, man. This, You know, Octane, I see you almost peeing in your pants. That he's going to whoop your ass. Like I said, find out August 17th. Damn. Find out August 17th, folks. We'll see that who the shirt is joke red. Is. It's even redder now, man. We'll see. We'll Holy see who the real shit, joke of man. SWA Jim is. Jim is spitting like molten <laughs> steel. Yeah, well, back to what I was saying. When Balls wins this match, I will be the first one to run down to that ring and raise that man's hand because I am a Balls Mahoney fan. Always have, always will be. You're I a what? Can't wait <laughs> till he beats that chump, the champ. <laughs> He's, wow. You're a fan of balls. That's a nice, you're a nice guy. Right, go back in your Does that mean there. when he's throwing up after the match, <laughs> you're going to hold his hair for him? <laughs> if balls was here right now, you would not be saying that to him. Oh, no. If balls was here right now, I wouldn't be saying that to him. Yeah. I don't think you'd be saying nothing to him. I would. Because be I know afraid. balls. <laughs> I know balls because you do. yeah. <laughs> Hashtag us, Octane likes balls. All of us men know balls. <laughs> See, I know balls, Mahoney. Face, not balls. You're just stepping all in it today. Hey man, it's great. He's coming out of the closet. You finally. know what, man? Stop talking <laughs> he was about choking it. Choking chicken. No, no, he was I almost, choking on chicken. Oh, oh, I almost sorry. died and from choking on chicken yesterday, he was man. Balls? And he, no, he was choking hey. on chicken and he swallowed. And he was playing got, with balls. I, yo, man, and on my right arm, I got IV wounds from it. It friggin' hurts, man. You kidding me? Thought that was a pin cushion there. I think we need to take a break. I think so, too. You know what? Octane, go make us some deli sandwiches. I want a place in waters right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to a commercial. Uh, commercial. Hey, Sean, well, who are we going to have on? Who are we putting on? I, Dan
Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. Tough Jim Steele, Octane situation. Anyway. That's on fire. Yeah, that is, man. I don't know what. Jim, don't know. Jim's pissed off. He's ready he to, is, man. He's, he's ready to tear Octane down. I, I think Make him low be, grade. I don't think it's going to make it to the cage match, but I think it's going to be one hell of a match. Not that Octane has fought a fool. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got none other than uh, the chairman, SWA, Jerry Werner. What's going on, thing. man? Well, we promised these people some uh, SWA War Games tickets. Well, a chance to win it, at least, with some SWA trivia. You guys ready? Go for hey, it, You guys man. can't play because I know you probably already know this, all right? All right. Well, Keep on, it real man. easy for all those SWA fans. You kidding me? I want you to call in, and I want you to name both members of the team known as the Bronx Bombers. That's it. Call in. Tell uh-huh. me who the Bronx Bombers are. You just got two tickets to War Games August 17th at the NYWC Sportatorium. There you go. That's pretty easy. Come on. Let's see that phone uh, ringing tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> What's the number, guys? Do it 631-386-8229. And again, the phone number is? 631-386-8229. And again, the phone number is? 631-386-8229. There you go. Tell us who the Bronx right. Bombers are. Or were. Or were is uh, what we should really be saying. Yeah, who, or who they were. Is that proper English? Yeah. Well, you know what? This is the heel in the face. We do anything we yeah, want. Yeah, survey here. says. Um, <laughs> Don't call 1-800-CALL-POULTRY because that's not a working line. Really now, or one eight hundred sausage boy. All right. Well, no. That. All right. Well, you know what? I, me and Jerry were just whispering. That's why we had a you little silence. You were whispering silence. so everybody yeah. can hear you. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, but you know what? We were talking about this whole thing going on with Chris Caden. It's you know? about damn time I want to hear what's going on. That's a weird situation. I, I didn't really see coming. It, it is, man. And you know what? He's not going to be at the show. Yeah. Why? It, it 
Jerry. Uh, this, this, this is what I got. Uh, Chris Kane calls us up. He basically says he felt disrespected. He feels like you've stacked the deck against him. I tried to explain to him how, you know, how did Tommy stack the deck against you? You know, it was a tournament. You and CJ ended up together. Ricky was the number one contender. Uh, he doesn't see it that way. He sees it as continual choices made by you and SWA management to put him in the worst possible situation. And he's going to protest that by refusing to attend war games. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm going to have to do this, but this is in the best for the company itself. Chris Kane will be suspended for what? the show then. What? Are you kidding me? No, I support that 100%. You could have brought this man justice. No, no it doesn't and even instead, matter. And you're holding your thumb on his head. No, 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 no. He's suspended. He should be at the show and stop his whining. He wants to be a champion. Act like a champion. Why don't you yes. smack him the with the rubber chicken? <laughs> No, I don't want to take your chicken away from you. All kidding aside, it, for Tommy to not address this situation, for Tommy not to do anything, would would set a, a standard for the rest of the roster to follow, that they can just protest, they can just push management around, they can no-show events, and, and that's not what we're about at SWA. We're putting on the best possible show for the fans, and we can't do that without our wrestlers. You, you, so that's why I just over so it. You, you yeah. could have gone another way. Well, it's done. And you could also, you know what, you could be arguing with me, Sean, but you know what, Jerry's here too. Well, Jerry's the one that makes Jerry decisions Jerry can hear too. me. It doesn't matter. It's done. Chris Kane's a very popular superstar for us, and I know a lot of people are going to have uh, problems with this, but like Tommy said, Chris Kane, you don't want to show up to war games. Don't bother showing up to the next one. So what we're going to have to do is put him on suspension, no pay. That's it. Done. Uh, that's a debacle. That's it. It is what it has to be. Welcome to indie wrestling. Yeah. I think we need to take up a petition. No, we don't. Justice for Chris Caden. I'm sure Chris Caden will have his own petition. I'm sure Chris Caden will have a lot to say about this. He probably this. will. And you know what? I'm surprised he's not calling in right now and whining again. Yeah. Or he must be too, uh, as you would say, Sean, chicken. <laughs> It's just apparently you choked on more than one chicken. Well, we're not choking on this one. We we nip this we nip this chicken in the butt. Is that the saying? I don't think you nip a chicken. <laughs> Basically, but I we guess, nip that chicken man. in the butt. Heal in the heel in the face. But that's it. Yeah, Chris Caden is done. No war games for Mr. Yeah, Caden. So you know what? It's not my fault. It's his fault. Yeah. He took it and kept on going and going. And you know what? He had to keep on whining, saying that he's the number one contender and. Ricky Richards spitting his face. Come on. It's done. It's and over with. Hopefully this, uh, you know, we have the Graveyard Disciples, you know, uh, they're in similar hot water. Hopefully this will help them stay on the uh, straight and narrow, knowing that there will be consequences for your actions. I, mean, I would say so. Definitely. You know, because, you know, I don't take kindly to certain things. And, you know, what's the matter, Sean? You're standing this, there this rocking. Is this just ain't right, and, and, I'm, and I'm thinking of stuff to protest formally. If the picket line can form outside. It, it, it'll be right next to the 400 people waiting to get in the NYWC Sportatorium for a uh, four cage matches on one show. It's going to be a, yeah. with or, without Chris Caden, with Chris Caden, it's going to be a great night. It's going to be a it's great gonna night. It's going to be an awesome night. But so. I still think that Caden needs justice. For real. And most of the green room agrees with me. Well, all right. For real. Come on. Well we'll, well, we'll open this up for discussion because, you know, the green room is buzzing. Our seven-foot security guard is very unhappy with the fact that Chris Caden has been suspended. Um, Sean, what, are your, what, what, do you feel, what do you feel was the injustice uh, towards Chris Caden by Tommy C? Or by Estaway Management in general? You know, I, he, he won. He, he, used, he used the ragdoll gimmick to win Snow Brawl. Cheat. It was a brilliant move. It was a brilliant move. You can't you can't take that away from him. I, I call it brilliant. Then, you guys do too. Then but he yeah, gets yeah. missed spit in his face by Ricky Richards. I didn't. I don't know. At Wrestle Hell. That. How do you not know what I'm talking about? You were standing right there. It, he had water. He probably coughed and it came out. It, how do you water know? during a wrestling match? I don't know, man. I never. You never know. Well, we're applauding Chris Caden for his fast thinking on you know catching the ragdoll character and going out there and winning as him, but then we're saying Ricky Richards can't mist water, vapor, humidity in his face. That's yeah. the big sin. You know, that's... You gotta, I need a more compelling argument than that, Mr. Walsh. Come uh, on. I just think that there should... All right. Yeah. He got mist uh -huh. in his face, uh -huh. cost in the match, whatever. Okay, yeah. but you could have done... You could have done more than just stick him into a tag team match where he had to name a partner. 
why he thinks that he is uh, the number one contender, well, let his t- decision you make You could have stuck him in a singles one. match. Well, as I remember, um, Tommy was there. You were there. The uh, end of that triple threat pride title, it ended with two guys beating down Chris Cade, Mike Magnum and Ricky Richards, beating him down on the outside. And the great Bambino, you know, the champ, he, he didn't come to Caden's aid, and I don't blame him at this point. You know, I don't hold that against him. But Caden is the one that asked Tommy. He said, I want Mike Magnum. I want Ricky Richards. I want them one-on-one. I mean, I want them one-on-two inside a cage. Tommy was the one that insisted yeah. he have a partner for safety's sake. Uh, uh, for all I care, he could have uh, dug up Ragdoll. I don't care. Yeah, I, I mean, any partner you want in the world, how is that not a fair... Uh, that's the fairest deal I've ever seen. Or he could have even had a... Uh, what's his name? The baloney flipper, Octane, with them. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Octane and Chris Caden, what a tag team! But I don't care. I mean, really. So I mean, I think that was fair. I think that was a a fair call on Tommy's part. And you know, that was his chance. He's in there with the uh, number one contender, Ricky Richards. He's in there with a guy who's right on the radar, Mike Magnum. And he he's inside a cage. And he's a featured match, and he gets a chance to show he deserves to be the number one contender. And instead, he chooses to sit on his couch. You know, he ch- chooses to take a night off yeah. and protest. Nobody so ever fine. changed the world sitting on their couch. Not can't at all. argue with that. No, you can't. No, and that, I agree, and that's how I came about. We came about on everything. So, Sean, sorry, <laughs> that's it. It's done. I hope Chris Caden was listening, and I, I hope you know he has a chance to reflect and think about it because he's getting a fair deal. I think it's just it's a situation where you work that hard for something you want, and you don't get it. You start making excuses and looking for reasons in all the wrong places. Oh yeah, definitely. So. Sean, you have anything to say? Chris K. Now we're over here. Not for now. There we go. Don't don't oh, don't debate okay. with me. I was the All captain right. of the debate team at, at my <laughs> high school. I didn't graduate. <laughs> we didn't win a lot of debates. Oh, you got to show up to win, but you know. Hey, I, anyway, move along off of that subject of that. The green room's still buzzing. Like, Honestly, I think it's all done with Chris Caden's situation. I think they they want us they want us to book Christian Cage. <laughs> oh, Chris Caden, Sa- same symbol, really? Wow, that's lazy. All right, <laughs> you're not helping Green Room. You're just definitely not. definitely not, man. Wow, they all have two by fours and they're all going ho. Oh. <laughs> About that green room. Hi, boys. Oh, man. <laughs> How did you guys, get, you guys in get in here, uh, must man? Must have been that really big security guard. What was his name? Mike uh, doesn't exist. <laughs> nice oh, guys, man. All right. Yeah, don't worry. The, 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 the bigger boss is here. We can't get in any trouble. All right. Listen, well. listen, Tommy, actually, we came here for a reason. We want to apologize for what we did. We were lashing out at our frustrations in SWA and... We lashed out at the wrong people. So we're sorry. Well, the only thing that I can say about this, and and I'm not too happy about the whole situation, how it came about, but you guys, how can I say? You, You guys are on probation in a way. If it does happen again, you'll be on a permanent probation, a suspension. All right? And I'm not kidding. All right, yeah, no, we'll take you know, and it, it, it will it will be a consequence that you don't want because SWA we don't play around. We're here to do business, and that's it, and have some fun. Yeah, so let me cut you off right there. Speaking of business, there is three of the top tag teams in SWA. Two of them right now are going on their fourth date, locked up in the cage. Uh, War Games, I think he's calling it. The big kiss. I can't wait. Yeah, the big, the big kiss well, between Beard Life and Damage Inc. Unfortunately, that leaves my partner and I as the third wheel. And SWA management, and that means you, have been putting us up against scrubs until two punks, the undead, well, come in, you, hey, you attack us from behind, and yet here we are getting in trouble for, for well, expressing our you, frustrations. Well, you asked for a match, and you, I gave you a match, even known... The circumstances of what you guys have done, I'm giving you that match against the the undead. All right. Well, let me put it this way, Tommy. The fans, they like the giggly, funny, goofy graveyard disciples, but we can tell what they want to see more is the monsters. 
that are the Graveyard Disciples. Well, the promoters, including you, and don't lie, want to see us be the monsters. And the undead are going to find out that we are the monsters. You see, Menace here hasn't been said a word. Usually he's laughing and happy, but he's pretty ticked off. I, I, got, this, I got this big guy in a mask next to me, and, and I kind of had this like three weeks ago, and it's kind of giving me like awful flashbacks. But you know what? There, all I've got to say is it's kind of funny because you're standing there cuddling with him. And, you know, I've sat back and I've kind of like uh, had somebody investigate a little bit here and there. And I found out something, Sean, that you were involved. I wasn't involved. Really, Tommy? You're going to pull on. conspiracy theories? Get it Come straight. On. Mr. Tommy C., let me explain this to you nicely. Don't worry, Sean. We understand we can't hit you guys this week. I'm just going to say this plainly. We came in, and yes, we vented our frustrations with a kendo stick. And a crowbar. And a drill. And some tape. And a chain. And we're sorry. But you have to understand, the undead... Zack Vengeance, Mason Shadows, came out, kicked me, I fell. And then, when Mr. SJK got the pin on me, we, we were... HSK, bud. What was his name? It's HSK, the, the you know, kid. That little boy's name? Yeah, the kid real connection, guys. Yeah. Just. I'm sorry, Sean, I'm hurting you again. <laughs> Let's put it this way. People want to see us be monsters, and the well, undead is going to find out that we can be monsters. Well, you guys, August 17th, mm -hmm. NYWC Sportatorium War Games, you have that match against the undead. Mm -hmm. So, GYD, you better bring the A game because these guys were one step no, ahead. No, Tommy, we're not playing games anymore. Well, there is no A game to bring. There's no A you game. Mr. Tommy C., let me explain to you. Things got real. I had gotten messages, letters even, phone calls from people who were friends. And they said, Menace, Mayhem, what happened to you guys? You guys used to be the scariest guys walking around. People used to get out of your way. And then these two punks, young men, two young individuals took you out and you didn't even do nothing about it. Mr. Tommy C. Well, I that, seen, that, that, I'm that, sorry to that, interrupt that you, <laughs> but you know what? Because I seen the footage of the of the last show, which was Wrestle Hell, and I seen that the undead did interfere with your match. That is not how we do business in SWA. So that's why you boys, GYD, are going to be taking on Zack Vengeance and Mason Shadows, the undead, August 17th. What did you call these two gentlemen right here? GYD. How, say their full tag team name. On oh, second thought, don't. Oh. Oh, the microphone. <laughs> oh, Sean, let's not play games. Let me end Let me, this. We're going to end this like this. August 17th. You boys are going to get your monsters. SCWA will have their monsters. You know what's funny? Mayhem, the, he's going to get to be the demon that he is. And, I'm gonna, and you guys wanted a beast? I'm going to bring the super beast out for you. So guess what? <laughs> Just Plain and simple, boys. Kiss your loved ones goodbye and get ready. Don't pray to your gods. You pray to us. You pray that we don't come get you. And you pray for us for mercy. Now we're going to leave. And thank you, sir, <laughs> for letting us have this time. Any other slip-ups? And I'm not kidding. Suspension. We're not worried about you anymore, Tommy. We're worried about Ack Vengeance and Mason Repair, and we're, who will soon be simply known as Dead. You want to say something, Sean? <laughs> um, yeah, this is really uncomfortable. Uh, well, he's not too happy for some reason with you. I don't know why. See you boys on the 17th of August. I told you I had nothing to do with that. Well, it just seems kind of funny how everything... It uh, came back to you. Well, that, that's what happens when you talk smack. 
Well, it just seemed very funny. I thought we were supposed to be, I know, heel and face on here, but now you're trying to venture into the ring. Not me. I had nothing to do with them. Well, then why would it be that you're in cahoots with one of SWA's best tag teams? I had nothing to do with them taking over the show three weeks ago. All right. Well, I just had Menace say you're a liar. What? Menace is in the green room. Oh, well, I don't know. He looks very anyway, angry. Anyway, we, we got uh, Salami uh, Slicer over here standing looking what at us. What else could you possibly have to say? What do you have to say don't there? Don't forget, Tommy C., I have your back. I got your back. Where were you five minutes ago? Yeah, man. We I was waiting for the whose call. Whose oil were you changing outside? I was making sure if they would have laid a hand on Tommy C, I would have been coming running in, taking <laughs> both of them out. They hurt Tommy C. I'm going to hurt both of them. And what do I look like? <laughs> Chopped liver? <laughs> Sliced bologna? We know, you're, we know you're the one that set this whole thing up. You're the one that's in cahoots You set this them. up. Like I said, they touched Tommy C. Graveyard Disciples. They got to mess with the Octane. I will take both of them out myself if I have to. I doubt it. I don't know, but that could be something later down the road. You never know. But they've got to take care of business come August 17th against the Undead, which is going to be quite an interesting match. So I wonder if that's going to be in the voting for a cage match. Honestly, it, that's one of the... You, you've got matches that are in there, and this is one of the hottest matches along with Octane really and Steel. Vote. So these two are neck and neck. It's going to be a really tough vote. So, the ladies Undead and gentlemen, win. so if you don't have your tickets, which you don't because you didn't get them from us, and nobody There they are. You better get them. And nobody's calling for those two free tickets that Jerry put out there. You know, So uh, those will be um, actually available till next week. We're going to do that. But, uh, you know, th that's ridiculous. Nobody called in because SWA is going to blow up August 17th with War Games. Octane's going to be in the house. Jim Steele, Graveyard Disciples, um, The Undead, Us. You know, I, I can't still wait, had nothing man. to do with yeah, it. Yeah, I know you did. It's okay. Oh, I forgot to mention the chump. I mean, the champ. will be in the house. C.J. Antonino, the great Bambino. He's walking out of one game to the belt. The chump. The pride champion. Who man. will lose? No, C.J. is not going to lose. I'm telling you. I wish C.J. C would call in. I want to hear what he has to say about he, this whole he, thing. No, 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 the no, The champ man. is very busy. The champ is taking care of business, man. The chump? The no. chump is taking care of business right now? Don't slice some bologna while we take a break. Yeah, We're coming back I with Dan Acosta you, right yeah. after. Check it. All those bondages, all those spiritual, spiritual holds. Go! Hallelujah! Oh, she doesn't even want to have it!
broken. See, all those bondages, all those spiritual, spiritual holds. Go! Hallelujah. Oh, she doesn't even want to have it. show this is the black sheep dan acosta taking over because these guys suck tonight so we need something going on here what's going on tonight man not much man holy cow what are you doing to take over now hell dude? yeah man oh. all the time I'm, ha I'm here i'm hanging out i'm sitting in the background keep my mouth shut wow too much man. going on this time so all right a lot of stuff well, going on well the black sheep does man what's going on in your world bro ah just booked another show uh finally playing out again got a show coming up in september but got ink masters coming up next week oh so yeah taking over reality tv once again oh yeah so it should be coming one out ink day. masters once again yes once this, again this twice yep. now last year i was and, on uh, ink masters with stockade stockade yeah. yeah this time i went in there we had a lot of fun i can't talk about what's going on still on yeah, the contract that's all right that's all right so you're gonna have to tune in and watch but it's everybody, on spike yeah, tv everybody's uh already dvr in it man setting it getting oh, yeah. ready. i've already got mine set yeah Black that's it over it's the way it works that's it brother went to the mayhem festival yesterday that was cool got to hang all with right. the guys from attica seven a buddy of mine plays uh so, for those guys ira black toured with him back in 2003 so that was cool keep it busy keep it so busy. uh when are you hitting the road again what's going on with you september we got a show coming up september doing a local thing here in babylon uh my bass player i don't know if you guys uh met him or not but my bass player is actually in a black sabbath tribute band called megalomania i've heard of it yeah, yeah dude, very these good guys band. rock i caught them last very week good. at a show so they were nice enough to ask me to come open a show for them. So we're going to jam out some of the acoustic oh, stuff. May even throw Manchild on the Congress. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Ryan Peterson, Manchild. Cool. Oh, that's a show to go check out then. 
But uh, you know, yeah, dude, there's so many freaking wrestling shows going on. There's yeah, this week, next week, it's crazy. Long Island is blowing up, bro. Hell yeah, every year it gets better and better and better. You know, it it's. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Yeah, dude. Tomorrow night you got NYWC. They're doing Trust No One. They've got a huge lineup. Matt Stryker's on it. Uh, Trent. Got a, it's God Trent bless. question mark now. Can't can't say the other name, but you know, former WWE. Trent is on the show. Um, Mikey Mondo's on the show. They got a bunch of stuff going on. And then uh, what? You got ICW the very next night, same place. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that. <laughs> Yo, man, Long Island's going crazy with uh, see, see, indie wrestling. I brought notes this time. Oh, go right ahead, man. Yeah, Matt Stryker, Tony Nese, Mikey Whipwreck, Trent, who actually, I don't know if you saw, he was on TNA last week. He's um, going yes, for the X Division about, title yes. now. Hey, so, yeah, big good. props to him. God uh, bless, Mondo's man. on it. They got Jigsaw coming back for the show. All and right. Of course, you got Big O. He's in there, too. And Brian XL's on this show also. So, they got a huge lineup going on tomorrow. Friday's ICW. I mean, there's got so much stuff going on. It's not even funny. Well, that's so, what it's told all about. Told all my boys, I come give them some, give, give them some quick promos. That, uh, spread that's, the word. That's all right. Support man. indie wrestling, or or as the Chris Envy would say, support pro wrestling because he's not an indie. He's a pro. We'll give him that. But support yeah, yeah. wrestling. Support yeah. local wrestling. Plain and simple. It's all right. <laughs> indie wrestling's where it's at, bro. That's exactly. where it starts, and that's where it ends. It don't matter. It's a circle of life kind of thing. So this SWA show is huge too, man. I'm hearing four cage matches. Yeah, and uh, honestly, the fourth match—I I don't know if you know the rest of the matches—but I want the GYD and uh, Undead in that match in the cage. That'd be a sick show. That, that's I want just that. gonna be insane. I think that would be the best but match. You know what? Though, ever. if the Undead goes in there, I want to see Zach do a senton off the top. <laughs> I just, I just got to throw that out there. And you know he will. He's a fucking lunatic. I'm he's sure he's crazy, do it. bro. <laughs> Especially with those 60 minute abs things he's got plugging. Oh yeah, gosh, man. What, are you about? what, uh, what am well, I missing? Well, here? Uh, um, our good friend Zach Vengeance, um, he's been uh, doing like this. God bless his soul. Trent Acid uh, workout, okay, okay. okay, and uh, it's just great to do that. But he's trying to be like. Uh, Tony Little, in a way, like promoting it, you know, it's just really, it, it, his. We're going to see him running I, in place. Yelling, like, like, it, it, bar, let, gazelle, me, bar, gazelle, bar, let, let me tell you, man, I'm, I'm a big fan. Guess of what? It's a gazelle. But the whole it's thing It's not is, a chicken. It's a gazelle. Yeah. See, it doesn't work. It, it, Sean, come on. What? It, right. It, it's. Oh, you kidding? Man. It was great. Yeah. So great now. that I had to run to the bathroom and get a bucket. <laughs> That's because, that's because you got like, <laughs> that's because you don't have sixty minute abs. You have like three months abs. I have a keg, baby. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm working. And you on gotta my love me. Myself over here. <laughs> yeah, you got the whole world. And you I haven't seen my abs since I was twelve. Let's not start. I don't think I've ever had abs. <laughs> I, I, I did, somewhere. man, but I'm trying to get back there. I will. It's all right, but yeah, oh, man. You're like the reporter of indie wrestling, Listen, man. man I, I, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, you got shows this week, next week, next month. There's like a million different shows going on. Yeah, I can't wait for August, man. And also, I hope that you'll come in and do another acoustic set. Oh, Because yeah, it's going to be one year for us of the heel in the face. Oh, you know what? You have to throw a big party. Yeah, man, and I think we should. I think we should broadcast live from. <laughs> no, Tommy, let's take it out of the studio. Tommy's invited, but Tommy's I think invited, we might try to do something. Or Cobb at the show. You know, that would be <laughs> great. Show. You know, maybe we'll work something out and, and uh, let you fans know what we're gonna do. You know what? Somebody just had a good idea, and we're gonna be exploring that a little later. Oh, all exploring right. Exploring who? <laughs> who? Not exploring who? I'm a happily married man. All right. Well, I'm just checking because you know. Exploring. I, I thought I was taking over. I'm not taking it. There's a difference. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? Oh, oh, I think Manchild's listening right now. Oh, what he about probably that? Yo, What's is, up man. with that, Manchild? Wow. You and the big man over here swimming? What, what about what it, doing? Ryan? Why don't you give us a call, man? man. No, no, no. Don't you, know, don't you know when I lay on the beach and people throw harpoons at me? Why are they harpooning a dead whale? Who are these vicious people? Yeah, I was going to say, normally they try to toss you back in. Hope to save them. <laughs> Wow, quick, man. Quick, we off. were talking about wrestling and all that. And all, the, all the muscle there. heads working out, put down their weights, trying to push me in. That's a lot of muscle heads. a lot of pushing. 
<laughs> That's a lot of muscle heads, man. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Tommy's got a chicken to choke on somewhere. Oh, man. Oh, my Thank God. you. What the hell did I walk into over here? <laughs> First, I'm hearing about guys running around and freaking beating the crap out of each other. And then from there, we go to you're swimming with man, child. You're choking your chicken. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. He's not choking. He's his chicken. He's, okay, choking. he's choking somebody else's he's chicken. Raised. I thought you were the cob gobbler. Now you're no, choking chickens. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I promised I wouldn't look over that my sounds, shoulder. That sounds a little weird, man. <laughs> Bobby Dreams, Lessons of Life, number Bobby 34. Bobby Dream, what a guy. Lesson 34. <laughs> Ball you is, pick up the soap, oh. don't look over your shoulder. <laughs> That's, oh, Lord have mercy. So, real quick, did you guys hear about this free show going on at the Jones Beach Band Shell? I saw something wow. about that. I, I yes. actually heard something on BAB about it, and that was yeah. quite interesting. Um, Bobby Rydell, our own Bobby Rydell from ECPW, he's uh, putting together a, a free wrestling show at the Jones Beach Band oh, Show on August Lord. 5th. Let me tell you, he's got some, some names matter, on that and one, and it, people are coming out for this one. Yeah, matter of fact, last year I was on that event. Yes, and, I remember. Uh, that's why I brought it up, because I remember yeah, you did it last year. Yep, I was there, and uh, I, you know what? Bobby Rydell is one of... He's an awesome person, man, and he. That show yeah, was insane. The, I mean, last year was a good show. Yeah. This one, ten times better. Hey, uh, do you have any yeah. uh, information he's got, there? He's got Hall of Famer Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, coming down. All right. Greg the Hammer Valentine is working this show. He's got Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Uh, Mike Mondo's on the show. He's got the Flying Hawaiian Kikoa. I mean, just it keeps going. Dicky Rods, Doctor Porter. Um, Joe Sloan, Ova, all everybody. Iraqi Butchers are coming out. All right. I mean, he's got a, a huge lineup on the this. The Iraqi show. Butchers! And once again, it's a free, <laughs> free, 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 free. We'll say it again. Free, free show at the Jones Beach Band Shell, August 5th, Field 4, 7 p.m. All right. Free. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard. Somebody it. say free. Free. You so, know a lot of yeah, people like free. You know they they're, they're doing they're doing autograph signings a bunch of stuff like that so I'm sure you know there's there's plenty of opportunities to meet with everybody and he's got the bullying we're kicking it program out there yeah which yep. is really cool because that's helping the kids stay off the streets it's helping yeah, them chase yeah. their dreams their passions it's, you know it's a really yeah, cool that, program that, so they're coming down yeah and uh, chef uh, what's his name chef Barrett Byers from Hell's Kitchen so All he's right. even got him pop, hop, uh, popping down for a while to meet with the fans and everything. So it's just got wow, it's a I, sick show. He's got so many different people coming out. I hope he makes some food. That'd be cool. Chicken? No, no chicken. chicken. Yeah, he's going to make some chicken. I'm sure <laughs> really? we'll have EMTs on hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Come on now. Wow. See? Yeah, wow. In case Tommy's choking his chicken backstage. Got to have oh, EMTs great, around. Man. <laughs> no, no. It's choking <laughs> on chicken. It's a family show. Oh, That's what I said. Uh, but at least he swallowed. KFC. Oh, Lord. Maybe he's a David on No, man. Oh, you said Then where does the cop man. fit in? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Where the hell did that come from? I don't know, man. That was left field. <laughs> right out the park. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord, have mercy! <clears throat> Is that oh, a woman, there's oh. plenty of room. You oh, can, you can always play with the my gracious. Microphone. You know I will oh, always boy. let you touch my microphone. The gracious one, <laughs> Dana Casa, gave the mic over to Lexa Rose. What's going on, girl? Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm doing pretty good. A little banged up, but carrying is sharing is carrying. <laughs> wow, man! Oh we're not gonna go there, but all right. After, after. I the think show. we should have a segment on the show that says everybody loves Lexa. Mm. Can I just say for the record, you know, with this old talk about poultry and bullying, um, I just got remembered of an old um, anti-bullying commercial with the Ninja Turtles and that one line: <laughs> "I'm not a chicken, you're a turkey." <laughs> I, just, I, I had to say it. I just had to say it. The inner, <laughs> the inner the child inner, of you the had inner to come child. out. <laughs> the inner child wanted to say it. <laughs> well, what's going on in Lexa world, Rose's world? Uh, I kind of banged up my ankle not too long ago during training. So, um, Do you think you're going to make it to the ring there August 17th or what? 
I'm better. Um, I got a couple of shows coming up, so hopefully later on this couple week. Couple of shows. What do you got going on? Um, actually. Uh oh, she's like doing one of these. Actually. Yeah. Um. Everybody brought a list tonight. Well, she's got it on her phone, man. Yeah. Unlike the host, no paper trail. You're prepared. Yeah, you yeah, know. No paper. Who trail? said I wasn't prepared? <laughs> I see your notebook tonight. I, well, I, I know. I maybe don't it's all up here. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Or maybe in Tommy's closet. Who knows? It's in my closet. Oh, it's in Tommy's closet. Shh, don't tell Slim Shady. Event. That's where he chose his shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, It'll mama. chase him out. Well, sh- I never meant to hurt you. It's okay. Go ahead. What do you got there, girl? Um, Next, I thought the only place she did karaoke was at Sinclair's. Um, oh. Listen. <laughs> I, if I'm persuaded the right, right way, I could sing whenever you want me to. But Well, you know. all right. Let's see. Oh, you're going <laughs> to sing? Uh-oh. You want that again? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, um, I got a busted ankle, but um, I'm waiting to be medically cleared. I got some shows coming up. Um, this weekend's going to be a double header. I've got the GCW Matt Osborne tribute. Um, it's also a charity event as well. So hope you got your tickets. Um, I got that Sunday in Brooklyn, I have NDIW Heat Wave at the Dog House. Then, of course, you know, my favorite stomping grounds where I was born, so to speak. Uh, August 3rd, I got ECPW and Shirley. Um, then I also got, you know, War Games, which is obviously on the 17th. War Games. SWA. Or as Tom would say, Russell Games. Yo, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm a little, saying, I'm a little exhausted. Graveyard disciples, Russell right, Things. Come on now. One eight hundred A B C D E F G. No, for me, hooked on phonics. It, I, I've got it at home. You see, you I'm learning. Need it. I'm learning. How about some Rosetta Stone? Who's that? Rosetta Stone. Isn't oh that my like God. that? <laughs> I could teach you my language, Rosetta Stone. In the back of a bus. And he learned Italian. <laughs> how about, how about, how about that... something simple, maybe Muzzy? Oh, man. Wow. Je suis la juve. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, you mean Crisco no. oil? <laughs> or maybe he's like Wesson oil. That ain't no octane. All right. That's it's so... like putting sugar in your gas tank. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to find out hopefully this week if I'm medically clear to... Wrestle for August 17th uh, against that big, ugly, lipstick-wearing creep, Nightmare, who kind of looks like Madonna that fell off, you know, during her material girl days. (laughs) Oh, wow. Yeah, you know, because he lost to me. He's going to lose again, you know. And if I can't wrestle, then I'm going to appoint a representative who will indeed kick nightmares behind up down left and right the sportatorium so um keep my fingers crossed hoping that this ankle isn't as bad as it is i got an mri coming up second opinions because um after what my first doctor told me i kind of had to um do a crown of thorns on him i wasn't too happy about his uh, opinion not that i asked for it i mean i pay him to tell me what i want to hear my ankle's bad um i don't want to hear that no no so yeah, needless I can't to wait say, to see Nightmare in a dress. I can't either, man. That's gonna be awesome. I'm sure he's gonna look a lot better than creepy, I am. I, I know but I it can't does. Wait. I can't either because you know why? Vinny the Guido usually comes to the show, and he's probably gonna have his dress on trying to. Why chase would you him. bring that up? Because it just came to my head. That's why. And that alone makes it. Yeah, creepy. it does. <laughs> yeah, but in all fairness, Vinny, yeah. you know, wore that dress because he lost an arm wrestling competition to a woman. <laughs> so nightmare, I don't know, brother. You better think twice or something. I don't know. Yeah, ladies are doing it for themselves, I guess. It's okay. Although nobody can fill this queen's throne, so. And I'm inclined to agree. I think so too. <laughs> yeah, oh, Dan boy. is promising me a back rub. I'm liking this. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just saying, you know, like I got a pinch nerve somewhere down the bottom of my spine. Ooh. (laughs) Thank God it's 9 30 and the kids are in bed. Um, (laughs) Thanks God for that one. (laughs) Medical. Uh He's qualified to practice physical therapy. There's nothing wrong with that. 
he got the papers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and right. the Anacostia well. is available via his Facebook page for appointments. <laughs> and he does children's parties. <laughs> wow. Holy, holy cow. That I, just sounded like Suffolk County PD. Where was it? Oh, Never mind. Wait, here comes Miss America. I know I smell bacon grease. Whoa. Here comes Miss America through the door now and the 2020 camera team. You're done. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, this is not the first 48. Wow, man. We need a we need a fast reset break, so let's play a quick song, and then we're going to come back and close the show. Yep, definitely. Oh, I'm going to take us out. Bye. Can you feel the fire from within? Say a prayer when you're ready to die. Your soul is mine. You don't want to believe. Your soul is mine. Let your eternal sin. Your faith is your soul away. Then you ask for the boy Cause no sin to do most in grass Last prayer just before you will die Your soul is mine You don't want to believe Your soul is mine An eternal sin Your soul is mine You don't want to believe Your soul is mine Let your eternal sin And we're back. And it, it, it's me and Lexa, and we're going to close the show out for you. Yeah, Tom went back in the closet. 
obviously to choke on some chicken. Yeah. And some fresh cob salad. Um, I think I heard a monkey in there too, but I'm not too sure. Wow. <laughs> so that'll do it for us, and we'll catch you next week. Yes. When we go, when we talk about ECPW, because it's August 3rd. And nobody won tickets. Boo. Nobody called in. Nobody won tickets. We're gonna we're yeah. gonna have to make the question even more harder next week. Yeah, well, we'll carry it till next week, and we'll see. We'll change the question though. Till next week, for everybody who was on the All show. Right, Lexi, you want to say anything before we go? Lex, go ahead. Um, just hopefully, you know, send some prayers and love my way, and hope my ankle gets better by August seventeenth. Cause I don't care how I have to do it, even if I have to limp, I am putting my hands on Nightmare and I'm ripping him apart. In a dress. In, In a, a dress. dress. What color dress do you want him to wear? I'm just curious. Something yeah. that brings out his eyes. Yeah, a little blue dress. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's Alexa it for Rose, us. We appreciate you coming. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. And we'll see you in Next the rain week. soon. And Justin for Chris Caden. Uh, oh, Justice no. for Chris Caden. Put your hoodies on. All up. right, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next week. We'll see you week. next week. Worship the ring.